Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in operating system that is monitors. So in our previous session, we have seen the semaphores and we have seen the process synchronization problems. So which are being solved using semaphores. So mainly if the multiple processes wants to access the share of data, there might be a chance of having the inconsistency. In order to provide that process synchronization with maintaining the consistency, we are using the, pro the, the solution or the concept called a semaphores. So one such alternative for the semaphore is the monitors. So the monitors were also used to give the process synchronization, right? To maintain the consistent data. So without delay, we'll start the topic monitors. So monitor, it is a package. Okay, the first a monitor, it is a package. So this package will be having the variables. functions or procedures and initialization of variables. Okay. So this monitor is a package in operating system. It's a special package in operating system. So where we have learned this package, usually these kind of terms we are using in programming languages, right? So absolutely correct. So these monitors are the language specific. So these monitors will be implemented in the programming languages using the programming languages. So the programming languages like C++, Java, etc. were using monitors. So whereas we have seen the semaphores which gives the process synchronization, they are operating system dependence. That means they will be defined by the operating system, but these monitors will be defined in the programming languages. So that's why these monitors are a special packages in operating system which will be having the variables, functions, procedures or initial variables. So here these variables cannot be accessed by the programs which are being executed outside the monitors. Right? So where the programs programs running outside the monitor cannot access variables declared in monitor. So outside the programs cannot be accessed these particular variables which are declared in a monitor. But, but, they can access procedures or functions of monitors. So inside the package, we are also having the pro variables and procedures. So whatever the programs that are being executed outside the monitors cannot be accessed these variables, but they can access these functions and procedures. And these variables will be initialized here itself. So this monitor will be in terms of a code, a simple code. Okay. So similar to our semaphores, only one program can be executed in, in the monitors. Okay. Only one program. 
so in semaphores we are saying that a critical section okay we are using the term as a critical section where one process can be entered into the critical section and until the process completes its execution no other process will be allowed to the critical section similarly monitors also same so at a time only one program can be executed in the monitor so other programs have to wait until this program completes its execution so we'll see some code okay the the main syntax of uh, monitors what is the syntax of monitors so syntax as i said that is a package so package will be having the names so a monitor will be uh, used with the keyword monitor so it will start with the monitor monitor name so whatever the monitor we are using that monitor name should be given here okay the monitor name then the variable declaration similar to our programming languages variable declaration so whatever the variables we are using that variable should be declared here and apart from these uh, variable declarations we are also using the conditional variables conditional variables conditional variables followed by the procedures so procedure some p1 followed by parameters okay and this one and similarly procedure p2 and if it requires a different parameters then that and so on procedure pn parameters and and finally initialization code initialization code and close the monitor so this is a simple syntax for the monitor so variables are there and all these are the functions or procedures and this is the initialization of variables so this initialization code will be executed only once so where these variable declarations i mean where these variables will be initialized with the values and what about the conditional variables so any conditional variable inside the monitor can perform two operations two operations we know those operations what is wait operation another one is signal operation so which we have used in a semaphore similar to that here also the conditional variables will be using the two operations wait and signal so we know that wait means whatever the process uh, i mean the process will be in the waiting state until it gets uh, its turn to enter into the monitor or anything and signal means so it is ready to enter into the monitor so here one entry queue will be there so in the inside the monitor there will be entry queue entry queue so in this entry queue the processes or threads we can also call it as a process or a thread right so a thread is a lightweight process a part of a process so either a thread or a process which wants to use these monitors which wants to execute in the monitor that will be stored in this particular queues so if one process or thread is utilizing this monitor that, that means utilizing these variables then immediately another process have to wait so that process will be in this particular queue okay for example p1 is there here p2 p3 p4 so p1 is in the monitor so p2 have to wait until p1 completes its execution so once p1 completed then immediately signal will be executed signal means this p2 is ready i mean the monitor is ready to um, access or execute the p2 so the p2 will be given to the monitor so it will be getting executed in the monitor right so this is called as an entry queue <coughs> entry queue 
Okay, so these are all a different components we can say or characteristics we can say of this monitor. So simply I am saying that monitors are the alternate solution similar to the semaphores for the process synchronization. So ultimate goal is the process synchronization maintaining the consistency of data when we, whenever we are using the shared data. So the advantage, advantage, what are the advantage means? Simple to execute than semaphores. Very simple to execute than the semaphores and inbuilt mutual exclusion inbuilt mutual exclusion that means so at a time only one program or one process can be executed right and the third one is efficient process synchronization efficient process synchronization so these are a lot of advantages over semaphores right so another important point once again i'm repeating it is a special package in operating system so package means this will be implemented in programming languages okay so simply we can say the semaphores are the os specific right os specific means os will be taking care of the semaphores but programming languages will be taking care of these monitors right yes so hope you understood and uh, if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.